The Las Vegas Licensing Expo 2017 represents a $250 billion industry globally. And what happens, of course, is that folks with recognizable names or intellectual property license their brands to other folks. I mean, simply speaking, if you see a t-shirt with Disney characters, somebody has licensed the ability to provide the Disney characters. Anyway, we're going to go in and see what is available for license in 2017. This is the Warner Brothers booth, and you can see they have a lot of colorful folks who are available, I guess, for um, bobbleheads or dolls or t-shirts, whatever. My goodness. This is Justice League. More Justice League. Licensing Expo is a business-to-business -business meeting, and here are some of the folks at the Warner Brothers booth sitting and talking and pitching. In other words, if I have an idea that can use a Justice League character, I will talk to somebody here and see if we can make a deal. Here's a whole wall of Nickelodeon characters. I was unfamiliar with this name Ubisoft and I was told by a young man here that this is a video game company based in France but with offices here, Canada, etc. and they are best known for Assassin's Creed, the video game and there are characters here. We're going to take a closer look at this display case just to show all the characters from Assassin's Creed. These would be available for purchase at stores like GameStop. There are also books that go along with the video game if you are really into it. And look down here. Here are some other products that are made under license. There are watches and even Zippo lighters with Assassin's Creed characters. So this is what the Licensing Expo is all about. This is the BBC Worldwide booth and they have a new character for kids called Dougie and of course Doctor Who and I spend a lot of time talking to folks here about how I love BBC. I love BBC Radio and I love the mysteries that they make and send over to Netflix and I get to watch uh, season after season of these great looking detectives. Anyway, BBC is here and I was somewhat surprised to see that they were indeed part of this show. My goodness, Elvis is here in films from the early years. This is the Authentic Brands Group and I'll have to find out why they are showing these films. Authentic Brands Group is the big dog in the licensing business if you want to license folks like Marilyn Monroe, um, Elvis, Muhammad Ali, etc. They have 37 brands that they own. They manage the branding for Michael Jackson's estate. The company is seven years old and they just made a deal, I think it is, with Chanel number no. 5 for Marilyn Monroe to be a global ambassador. Quite amazing. Here's a Judith Lieber purse with the image of Marilyn Monroe. Another big name already for licenses, 20th Century Fox. 20th Century Fox is right next to Sony. And Sony is talking about the Emoji movie, mobile game. Emoji seem to be growing in popularity as branded items. 20th Century Fox also has the National Geographic brand. 
lots of stuff and a massive video display here and lots of areas for doing business. This is Sony and did you know there was a Ghostbusters car? And books and emoji characters. This booth is called Line Friends and I'm not familiar with it. Although they have some great big, looks like teddy bears on display. Really cute. Quite intrigued at this booth because the decorations were so lovely and they did seem to be, have a Spanish influence and it turns out that this booth and I think it's like Destroyer, I, I'm not saying it right, but there are 40 stores in Mexico and Latin America that appeal to children, mostly girls, and they come and adopt dolls and toys, etc. They also have their own characters that they license, and they have one gorgeous, gorgeous exhibit and I gather the stores look something like the exhibit. This is Activision and a bunch of folks watching this. I think it is a video game, but it looks quite real. I was surprised to see the FAO Schwartz name here because my understanding was that the stores had closed and indeed they had, but a company named 360 bought the brand. They hoped to open a few boutiques within high-end department stores and reopen the stores themselves eventually. So you have not heard the end of FAO Schwartz. Well, look who's staring right at us as we walk down the hallway here. This is Funko. Gosh, I'm not familiar with them either, but they have cute characters. In the back of the hall, a bar. Lionsgate is here with a booth that is uh, quite private. PlayStation is here, and they have lots of samples of goods. T-shirts. And I guess folks collect these kinds of characters. My goodness, it would take a big room and lots of shelves. And you wouldn't want to wake up in the middle of the night see this guy coming at you. Remember Beanie Babies? They are still here. Look at all these characters. And animals. <laughs> That's all right. Big boot. I'm a fan of Shark Tank, but this looks like a shark truck. Meg Aladdin Monster Jam and the teeth are quite scary. From China, we have other characters. A and E is here with the curse of Oak Island. Well, I don't know what the curse is, but the guys are good looking. Look who's coming down the aisle. It's a movie! <laughs> Keep coming. Well, they're cute. I even know this brand, Grumpy Cat. And who would have thought? And Dr. Seuss. 
course we know about Dr. Seuss. But remember the grumpy cat? He is now a brand. Three showcases of branded items. Some more toys that are branded items. A lunch bag. A beloved character, Peanuts. Seems to be the discovery booth and they have a display here. Say yes to the dress and what their brand is, it's just the words. Say yes to the dress. These dresses are prom dresses. They have never appeared on the TV show. But on the label, it could say, say yes to the dress, prom dresses. I'll be darned. Well, sharks seem to be very popular. Shark Week is here. American Greetings is a card company, but they have a separate company called American Greetings Entertainment, and they own um, franchises like Mad Balls and Care Bears, and Care Bears come in all kinds of uh, toys and products. A going thing, and these characters were created by the greeting card company, but they have gone far beyond just being pictured on a car. You know what Shopkins are? Well, here is a bedroom of a Shopkins fan, including little luggage, toy boxes. It's a happy place. Safari, I don't know what that brand is, but it must have something to do with jungle animals because this is their corner display. Of course, we all know about sports branding, but maybe we didn't know about some of these. For example, the socks. The mugs. The calendars. Action figures. Visors more action figures. Sorry, but lots of dog owners would not agree with this, that Boo is the world's cutest dog, but Boo is pretty cute. I stopped here because I read a sign, but Wiki's is an Israeli company, but a gentleman from Brazil talked to me because the sign says five Disney series, 180 models to collect, 100 million, 150 million sold. But Wiki's is actually a promotion company. And when they use Disney characters, it was to promote someone else's product. In other words, if you bought $10 worth of XYZ, you might get a Disney character. No, none of these characters were sold to the public. And this company is located in a number of countries other than the U.S., and they seem to be doing quite well. 150 million of their characters. I was, just, I was just saying to someone the other day, what is the appeal of all these skulls? And here's some more. My goodness. I guess this might, if you were carrying this backpack. Nobody would approach you to steal your backpack. My goodness. Even modern versions of skulls. This is Maya Studio. The Crayola brand is here and here's some examples of products. Bake, create, eat, fondant icing with the Crayola brand. Did not know this existed. Black man, he becomes pockets on a coat. And this is Bandai Namco Entertainment, and apparently they are still talking about Pac-Man, Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde. 
You know how you go in those little gift shops at the car dealership and buy a pen or a watch or a t-shirt with the car name on it? Well, that's why these folks are here. I'm not a drinker, but I like this sign. Fireball whiskey. Tastes like heaven, burns like hell. Brand Genuity has these brands. Planet Fitness and Mrs. Fields. Seems to me they are opposites. Well, we in Las Vegas love the Scott brothers because they have a home here and they have a very successful TV program and apparently their name will go on all kinds of products. Here's Scott Living in books. I happened to briefly run into them at a charity event and they were very nice these two guys and as handsome as they look on TV. Steal our postcards. This is Benton Art. King Features is here. They seem to have all the brands that result in movies and I see Betty Boop over here. I have a friend who has a lot of Betty Boop branded merchandise. Makes her happy. Makes King Features very happy. I had to look up in the sky in order to see the characters here. This is the Cartoon Network. A big booth. This is Despicable Me 3 coming out in June. This is a promotion with Universal Brand Development. And I got a temporary tattoo from the movie. Sesame Street is here with characters that we all know and love. Fans of Downton Abbey can now buy items for the home with the Downton Abbey label. I Love Llamas did not know there is an original series coming on Netflix called Llama Llama. I'm sorry, volumes and stuff. I say clutch with the bridge. When you blow here, it'll be here. So when she blows here, it'll actually travel into that hand there. <laughs> you feel anything happen yet? Good, good. When you blow there, it'll be there. <laughs> Just <laughs> blow. Open your left hand. Another. Baseball, because I never touched it, did I? Look at it. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. <laughs> I know. How many people think she's so lovely we should just give her the gift? We should yeah, just give her yeah, the yeah, gift. Yeah. When he saw me before at the other uh, in other years, what I would do is I would steal somebody's watch and let them play for it and then give it to them as a gift. Nice. Yeah, so I did it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, 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 keep it. I got loads. <laughs>